a very warm welcome from Edureka and uh, thanks for joining today's session. My name is Deepak. I have 15 plus years of experience in this field. Today's topic is fundamentals of project management. So uh, let's get started and let's talk about agenda for today. So today we are going to talk about uh, what is project management, what is PMP certification and the exam pattern. So there are two exam patterns, the exam pattern which was followed earlier and the new exam pattern which is going to be there. So I'm going to cover both of them and the content part and the examination requirement and the certification cost. Now let's talk about what is a project management. Before we dive in more detail, it's very important for you to understand what is project management. So project management basically is an art uh, through which you are going to manage the project. So uh, this is again one of the trending thing and uh, uh, in this uh, competitive world, it's very important uh, if you are if you want to make your career in this domain that this is very important for you to understand all the bits and pieces so project management is basically required whenever you have any kind of uh, domain any kind of uh, product uh, you have to manage that uh, product so that it can be uh, you can create that product uh, efficiently and you can um, manage it product efficiently i will just give you one example uh, in terms of technical and non-technical because I know that some of you are from a technical background some of you are from a non-technical background let's say I will start with a non-technical one but yeah if you have any further doubt feel free to ask so let's say I want to uh, build an application through which and the, the, again this example is based on a real life concept let's say I want to build an application through which people can uh, send the money to each other and uh, that application can be linked with your bank account and in that application you can also store the money if you're going to store the money you're going to get some cash back so in order to build that application uh, what's you are going to require uh, it, it's not like that i can make that uh, application uh, overnight or i can make that application randomly the proper planning has to be required so you must be thinking uh, you know why the proper planning is required you want to write an application just build it and uh, launch it in the market it's not easy let's say i developed an application after developing an application i realized there is a bug that uh, once people are uh, adding the money into that application from their bank account uh, it, it's creating an open connection uh, due to which any hacker can eavesdrop into the network and take the money out because that session is idle let's say for two minutes that session is not deleted once the uh, uh, money is transferred so that idle value which is enabled that can be used by hacker which is a very big thing it can become a nightmare or maybe let's say there is another thing that uh, uh, once the application was launched it was not working on certain ios version or this application is working differently if you are using on different different uh, operating system like different versions of android different versions of ios this application is working differently how oh, let's say you have another uh, uh, problem when this application was launched you realize that uh, with this application you cannot uh, transfer money to some of the accounts so it, it's basically uh, going to be an issue and later on then you have to make the changes uh, you have to mark a downtime for a couple of hours or day depending on the uh, you know change you have to make so it can give a very bad experience to the user and maybe uh, later on you realize that oh, in order to fix the bug you have to change the programming language so you have to change the entire interface now, now why this problem happened because this application when it was being developed the proper planning was not there so ideally uh, if in terms of technical management if i talk about uh, if you are developing any software there is a software development life cycle you have to follow the phases like you have to understand whether the product that you are trying to build it's technically feasible to build that product or not along with that you have to see uh, what are the different requirements you have and uh, you, uh, you have to make sure that while developing testing testing people have to work in parallel and after that product is being developed you perform a beta release alpha release there, there are so many steps so who is going to define those steps who is going to manage those steps and this is again from a one application perspective there can be many things let's say i want to uh, uh, make my organization to go into the stock market field my organization is dealing in the banking sector and uh, i want my organization to go into your you know different field for example i want my organization to deal into uh, stock market wherein uh, they are going to inform users they're going to suggest users that uh, what shares are beneficial for them for investment purpose but uh, shares are not beneficial for them so in order to have that uh, thing or i would say in order to have that kind of 
uh, knowledge uh, being transferred to online platform you have to make sure that you have all the different algorithms apis being developed so that the people who are the market experts who de deal in the stock market whatever the kind of input they are giving it's getting uh, translated into the software world so that people over sitting on a different side can get those updates so all those things can have to be done with the help of proper planning proper management that comes under the project management wherein that's where the project manager job is very important at very high level he's the one even though he's not going to own the company but indirectly he's going to own the company because all the decisions each and everything is going to be made by him he's going to define so that company can uh, work and uh, manage the things efficiently and company can grow okay so i hope you got the fair understanding what is project management uh, and what is the benefit of having a project management so again the all the things that i have explained uh, it's mentioned uh, he is going to be the one who is going to i would say own the company directly who is going to make sure that everything is planned properly uh, all the steps are uh, mentioned properly for example what is going to be the risk if you are going to work on that project what can be the mitigation steps all those kind of things now let's talk about what is pmp so PMP basically stands for project management professional. So this is a certification which is one of the very renowned certification if you are going to make a career. If you have this certification uh, on your resume, people are going to give you more preference because they are going to be aware that you know all the in and out how to manage a project and how efficiently you can uh, work on any of the project. So if you have this uh, uh, certification along with the knowledge, it's going to be like a cherry on the top. So this is widely recognized certification through which you can manage your project. Along with that, uh, uh, once anyone who has this knowledge, uh, how to manage the project, he can easily define the protocols for uh, the new project into the same domain or different projects because in an organization whether it's a technical field non-technical field everything is a product which can be considered like a project because for company it's a product but uh, for you it's going to be a project wherein you're going to make sure that uh, what are the requirements uh, that you got from your customer if this uh, product has to be delivered to the customer what are the different requirements that you got from the different stakeholders within the organization if this is an in-house uh, basically product that you want to launch so in the case of product you have to make sure that you have uh, all the knowledge uh, in different domains so pmp basically more focuses on that you should be uh, you should have that kind of uh, you know i would say how i would say like in other words you should have that kind of mindset that you are going to think always outside the box let's say i, I have to uh, i got involved into a project wherein i have a zero knowledge for example my company wants to launch database as a service i have a zero knowledge about database you have to think from the product perspective okay what is the use case for example of having that uh, product what is the advantage uh, of launching that product uh, if it is for a customer how much revenue company is getting and how much uh, time you have to spend how much money you have to spend how much resources you are going to require for example your company got that project of hundred thousand dollars but you realized that uh, the net cost of implementing that uh, stuff is more than hundred thousand dollars so indirectly it's not going to be a profit but it's going to be a loss so you have to re determine that in the initial phase and in case of uh, any issues you have to report to the leadership team that this is not uh, this is not a good solution uh, with which the company can go live so all those kind of things you have to make sure that you are uh, managing and you are uh, defining that's why i said like this this profile is more of a out of the box where you have to be creative sometime so that you can uh, understand all the in and out of a specific uh, project or a product in which the company is dealing so that you can help them in uh, you know increasing their revenue one of the example like ptm you know that when this ptm was introduced how it was introduced ptm was introduced with a very small uh, uh, concept through which you can transfer the money and then they allowed you you can add the money to their wallet and now if you will see with ptm you can do everything you can book your flight tickets you can book your uh, 
uh, train tickets you can purchase the stocks you can purchase the gold for the people who are outside india uh, this is again an uh, an application which was introduced like uh, in uh, us you have yale uh, application uh, which is why double l leave uh, with which you can do the same thing wherein it like a paytm you can transfer the money you can say uh, uh store the money in the wallet all those kind of things so that's how that thing was managed that thing was not managed by technical team because technical team can build a solution but there has to be someone who has to inform them the requirement and you are going to be the one who is going to design the entire pattern the scope you are going to understand the net uh, cost of the project uh, and the net effort which is required and how it can be beneficial to the company okay now let's talk about what is pmp certification so you got a fair understanding that what is the advantage of using it what is the advantage of uh, uh, making a career in uh, pmp now let's talk about what exactly is pmp certification so if you're going to take a course from Edureka, you are going to get the certification from us. Also, you are going to uh, get the certification from PMP if you are uh, going to clear that certification. From our side, we are going to make sure that you are well prepared to go ahead with the certification. And if you want to take a certification from PMP, you can. Otherwise, in the same uh, cost that you are going to pay to, uh, to us for the course, we are going to provide a certification from our side. Now, before understanding about certification, let's understand why you require certification. Because the reason is there are employee benefits. Employees are going to get the benefit. What kind of benefits they are going to get? You are going to get greater employment opportunities because people in the market are going to trust you more that you are a one who know all the in and out since you are holding a certification from PMP. Along with that, uh, if you are going from a different organization, whether it's in a technical field, non-technical field, people are going to trust you globally. Along with that, uh, like I said, it's an international recognition. This certification is not like that, which is only going to work in a specific country like India, UK. It's going to be trusted all over the globe. The next one is enhanced skill set. You are going to learn all the bits and pieces like, you know, the very basic thing I have explained right now, the use case of having PMP use case of acquiring that knowledge because uh, a person who is going to uh, enroll himself into this role he is going to own the company indirectly so uh, because like i said your companies let's say is going to make an application live they are going to spend hundred and thousand of dollars that for example paytm uh, at that time when it was must introduced it was a very small brand now you see basically right now uh, they are into all of the important thing i would say almost all of the important things how how they are uh, uh, touching the different areas because this is managed properly there has to be project manager at the back end who is taking care of everything that's why you are going to have an enhanced skill set the more pay and the good position along with that uh, you are going to have uh, more uh, I would say advantage over the known PMP uh, candidates, for example, uh, there are uh, two candidates uh, for which uh, uh, HR has received the, uh, the resume. One is uh, PMP certified, second is known PMP certified. They are going to give preference to the person who is PMP certified. And la last one basically is uh, building leadership qualities. So you are going to again have, uh, you're going to build the leadership qualities because you are going to be the one who is going to work at the top management like i said you are not going to be the like again the ceo of the company but and you are not going to own the company directly but yes you are going to own the company indirectly so you are going to inherit all those leadership qualities because you are going to deal with leadership and entire stakeholders and all the people in your day-to-day -day life and along with that you will get a chance to work across industries like i said uh, it's not like that only technical people can enroll or non-technical people can enroll you can go into every field technical non-technical because your uh, primary thing is to focus on the project it's technical non-technical doesn't matter you just have to focus on the project and the second thing like i said you have to be the one who always think out of the box now let's talk about the employer benefits so you have learned right now what are the benefits that you are going to get but what are the benefits you the company is going to get if they're going to hire a person who is pmp certified 
customer satisfaction because if your company is dealing into service based they are going to make uh, different different projects for the customer you are going to be the one who is going to uh, own that entire thing so you are going to make the things and uh, stable with good appearance with good experience so your customers are going to be satisfied of the organization and you know that right now in this today's world the main thing which uh, really matters in this uh, competitive world is the customer satisfaction if your customer is basically god if they are satisfied you can do everything next one is improved work culture so uh, in this case uh, in uh, if your company is going to hire you you know uh, what exactly is uh, the project management you will be able if you being the project manager you will, you will be able to take work efficiently from all the different team basically for example your company has to develop a project wherein you will require some people to work in networking team programming team um, you know uh, different different teams you have to collaborate so with your skill set you will be able to take most of the work from a different uh, team members and again that's something you're going to learn in the course and uh, another one is uh, pmp certified con candidates are more reliable the reason being because you are going to have that knowledge you're going to own that skill set so that's why people are more reliable and the last one is the increased success rate of the project because you know all the bits and pieces what can be uh, the loose endpoints you are going to fill those gaps and to make a project very stable now let's talk about pmp exam pattern what kind of pattern so this pattern that we are talking about this is the current pmp exam content where you have a five things first first is initiating second is planning third is executing fourth is controlling and fifth is closing so let's talk about one by one with the weightage so in the case of initiating it has a 13 percent of weightage wherein you are going to uh, perform a pre-checks that uh, uh, whatever the kind of project you are going to enroll in is this technically possible to build that project or not and also from business perspective it is business feasible to uh, build that project or not for example i'm going to build a project which was not technical feasible i'm going to say that i need a software wherein i am going to pass uh, uh, some numbers it's going to convert those numbers into hexadecimal numbers uh, which is again uh, in certain cases technically not feasible because uh, for example i'm using it, it on my phone and my phone has a limit to have only 10 characters so it's going to round off those values it's not going to give me the good output so it's not technical feasible or from business perspective uh, you have to see that for example you're going to get a project of hundred thousand dollar then in that case uh, what is your revenue are you making enough revenue if you're not making enough revenue or for example for hundred thousand dollar project you have to make uh, you have to spend one fifty thousand dollars you have you're going to be in a loss in, in that case so in that case uh, uh, it's not a uh, good uh, deal for your business so in the initiating phase you are going to perform the weightage on that next one is the planning so in the case of planning it has 24 percent weightage wherein uh, you are going to perform proper planning on the project that what are going to be different phases of your project for example uh, in my project uh, i have realized okay i will require five components out of these five components which component i should start first along with that out of these five components uh, what is going to be uh, the very first component on which i have to start designing so you know that you have to start with first of all design the front end and then you're going to start with the back end you have to prioritize all those kind of things that's going to fall into the planning which has 24 percent weightage the next one is executing executing is the one where the real implementation phase is going to start now you have realized in the last phase that uh, the, you are going to have five modules the first uh, module is going to have the precedence so you are going to work on the first module uh, in the beginning so you are going to start with the execution which has a 34 uh, sorry 31% weightage next one is the controlling now which has 7% weightage the reason is uh, you have to make sure that uh, uh, in order to uh, make a project reliable you have to make sure that all the different sub components are independent of each other they should work in an isolated way with each other i have five modules if second module is going to fail then in that case how i am going to make my first and uh, third module work otherwise my entire uh, application is going to crash we have to make sure that all the five modules the sub modules uh, we have to make as reliable so that if one module is going to fail other modules should work the last one is the closing which is basically the final phase which has again 31 uh, percent of weightage wherein you are going to make sure that end-to-end -end testing like uh, whatever the way your product was supposed to build and design is it working as the same way or not a kind of a thorough testing you do in the last phase that's closing now this is again the current pattern 
now talking about the upcoming pmp exam content which has three things the people the process and the business environment people are basically the one they are the building block uh, which is basically uh, for any project if i have to build anything technical non technical any industry i need the people and people has to understand how to work with each other so that's the first important component now which has again the 40 percent weightage if i talk about the second component which is process process is 50 percent that you have people you have to make sure that you are involving right people at the right phase now out of five module i, I need let's say uh, in the second module i need major people so i am allocating right people at the right phase and the last one is basically business environment which has the eight percent weightage wherein you are going to give them a good environment uh, uh, condition so that they are satisfied like giving the leads on time uh, if you're doing take, taking overwork for them uh, they are getting paid for the overtime all those time kind of things uh, this is again the upcoming exam content now you're going to sum up this people process and uh, business environment is going to become a hundred percent now let's talk about the content outline for the upcoming uh, uh, exam content so which has basically three things the three domains the task and the enablers let me even show you with the help of an example uh, which is going to give you more understanding so this is uh, an example of people process and the uh, business environment now let me start one by one again with the people basically what exactly is the uh, people you got that people are basically are the one who are going to be the building block for any other project now it has three components that you have seen basically domain task and enablers so for the domain domain is basically a high level knowledge area which is required to practice project management and coming to the task task basically cover the underlying responsibilities of project managers within every domain and enablers are the illustrative example of the job which is associated with the task so it can be in the form of gui or it can be a form of uh, some command line which is cli so this is again one of the example for people let's say you have 14 tasks and 52 enablers 17 tasks and 61 enablers and four tasks and 19 enablers so it can vary from uh, project to project depending on the requirement that you have and uh, uh, it can go higher now coming to the uh, next part which is pmp exam requirements so in terms of education you should have a secondary degree or a four-year degree or a bachelor's or postgraduate degree in terms of experience you should have five-year non-overlapping project management experience or three-year non-overlapping project management experience if you uh, if you are basically holding for example bachelor's degree or postgraduate degree then having two-year uh, experience is fine if you are uh, if you already have four year degree then having a three year experience is fine and if you have a secondary degree then in that case you will require five year experience now in the case of project management education you have to go through the 35 contact hours of formal education that you're going to already uh, get once you're going to enroll in our certification you're already going to get that and the certification from our side and now coming to the cost part so this is basically the cost if you're going to go for if you're basically a cbt member or opt member the cost is 405 for you if you are not that member the cost is higher which is triple five and if you failed in the first attempt you want to give the second attempt for opt it's 275 dollar and for a non-member opt it's 375 dollar thanks for joining today's webinar i hope you have uh, learned a lot bye bye take care